guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Carolina. I love talking about designer handbags and handbags in general. So if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to this channel. I would love to have you part of this little family, this little community here of bag lovers. For today's video, we're gonna be talking about the hottest bag trends for 2024. I will share with you guys my favorites and I will share with you guys which ones I'm not really looking forward. No further ado, let's dig in into the video and let's talk about the hottest bag trends that are out there for 2024. Trend number one that we're gonna see a lot in 2024 is gonna be patent bags. This one I'm actually very excited, like this is one item that I actually really, really wanna add into my collection. I really wanna add a bag in patent leather. Normally I have always inclined towards a red a patent leather, but I also really like black patent leathers, but there's some about the red patent letters in the past that I've always really really liked. I have all like I was obsessed with the Vicky AYSL bag in patent red leather. I was also obsessed with the Lady Dior in patent red. I really think that one is absolutely beautiful. I have actually had that one on my wishlist for a really long time. I'm really loving the fact that patent leather is coming hot this year. I'm excited to see a lot of patent out there. It's gonna be beautiful. And on these patent leathers, we are actually gonna see a lot of blacks and a lot of burgundy kind of like reddish colors. YSL has right now a listening to set in this beautiful burgundy kind of like cherry, but not cherry color. It's like a black color, like a black cherry color. Oh, it's such a beautiful color, like such a beautiful bag. This is gonna be one of the colors for this year as well. So I'm kind of integrating two here. I'm integrating that patent leather and the, one of the colors for this year. Second hottest trend for this year is gonna be slouchy bags and actually big slouchy bags. So we have seen that in the, in the past, the big bags are coming back and they are really coming strong this year. We're gonna see lots of big bags, especially like a slouchy one. If you see, the, like let's say the Birkin 35, Birkin 40, they're in the slouchiness. That's exactly what everyone is looking for. More of like an easy style, like that is not like baby, that is like you have been used. The slouchy bag from Loewe is a, coming is coming up really strong. Same as the YSL eye care bag. That one is a big slouchy bag, that one totally those you're gonna see a lot like totes big bag slouchy bag you're gonna see tons around this year one that i really like is the Diamo bag as well that one is not just exclusively for this category because it's not really like that slouchy but it has a slouchiness and it is it, it do have a big size as well same as the sardine bag from bottega that one is also absolutely beautiful and it's gonna come in a big big massive size so that one is gonna be absolutely beautiful for slouchiness i also really like the YSL sing to set in the size is small i think that one is absolutely beautiful i am obsessed with that bag currently so that one is also like for a nice hobo style slouchy bag that one is beautiful and structured like that's the thing like no structure at all in this category you can also add the chanel 22 chanel 22 it really does integrate with this bag that is a slouchy large bag where you can fit all of your belongings and take them with you another hot trend for this year is going to be baguette bags so is to west size so kind of like the fendi style baguette instead of being a baguette like well they, most of the houses call them like east to west that they actually are elongating their main bags like let's say louis vuitton is doing it with the capucines dior did it with their lady dior and now it's the dj like many houses are actually doing that style of shoulder bag that is kind of elongated being a baguette style bag so we are gonna see a lot of that this year as well like the baguette style is not going anywhere and i actually love it because i love the baguette if you saw my wishlist for 2024 you saw that i actually do have a baguette in my wishlist and i am hoping to go, to get it it's a vintage one so it's gonna take me a little bit to track one in great condition but yeah nonetheless i am actually really excited about this trend next trend is gonna be it's gonna be kind of embellished bags so beaded bags sequins bags bags that have embellishments that make the bag look different more with more personality more this like it's not just the plain leather this is gonna be a huge trend around for this year as well you're gonna see a lot of beading a lot of sequins fendi is huge for the sequins we have seen also they have done also lots of beading and but we're gonna also see like other type of beaded bags so i'm actually excited to see what's coming that i really do like different bags like i think i'm set with my leather bags now i actually want to have fun with my collection and i want to see what's out there for the beaded bags so i'm excited to see this trend for sure another big trend that's going to be this year that's actually i love this trend as well like i know i'm saying i love to a few of them but one of these trends is actually the unexpected shapes 
So what does it mean? Like let's say the hardship that Chanel brought and actually Gucci has been bringing out as well out. There's the hardship from Alaya. There's heart shapes, there's star shapes, there's circular shapes. Like there's one, like the kind of like the hat style shape of bags. Louis Vuitton has a beautiful one right now, a round one as well. So unexpected ones like round, hearts, stars. There's like weird triangles. Also like Gucci also brought out like, there's one like, the, I don't know what shape it is because it's not really, a, is it a triangle? I don't know what it is. Like it's kind of like, goes up like this down i guess it's like triangle but the thing is like that point is not like this one of the points is not like this it's like completely like this so i don't know what the shape of that is but unexpected shapes you are going to see them this year coming out with different houses and don't be surprised that's actually one to have fun with like if you want to have incorporate something fun that you have all already all your basics and you want to have some something fun this is definitely a trend for you to have fun to go out there have something different with a different shape not your traditional shapes another big trend that you're, we're going to be seeing a lot this year is going to be charms buckles belts on bags so, like we're going to see a lot of charm like accessorized like the bags are gonna be more accessorized just instead of being like plain leather or plain bags they're gonna come with either a belt like a buckle to open a belt to open it's gonna have charm so we, we can see also these incorporated in the loewe bang that where it has like the charm coming down the chains same as the channel 22 it has the chain it has the kind of charm coming down like the hardware so it, you, we are gonna see a lot more hardware for sure in the bags meaning like belts buckles charms so we are going to be seeing more accessorized bags for sure similar to the belted chains buckles charms trend we are going to be keep seeing one trend that was really hot on 2023 which is the cargo kind of style bag which means like it has a lot of compartments it has like different compartments for you to put different little items if you are a person that loves to put like your ear pods in one in one pocket the other one in another there are going to be bags with different ones there's the Miu Miu one that has kind of like the cargo bag from Miu Miu there's also Fendi for a I believe it was for fall 2023 they came out with the baguette in the cargo style they're also bringing it back this year so we are going to be seeing more cargo as well so that kind of like complements with the style of like adding buckles adding belts adding chains adding more more hardware to the, to the bag so kind of like that also like the sardine bag like it has like the big sardine to hold it that's actually an embellishment that is kind of like in hardware so yeah so those ones kind of incorporate to each other next up let's talk about the colors that are going to be really trendy this year in 2024 for in the handbag world so as i already mentioned when i was talking about the patent bag red is going to be hot this year red was very big on fall 2023 and it's still gonna come through now this time it's a little bit different now it's a little bit more of a cherry black color like a dark dark burgundy you can still add a reds in there but mostly it's gonna be burgundies dark cherries i absolutely love as i mentioned already the a set of saint laurent with a that patent sherry like dark sherry color it's absolutely beautiful it's honestly just it's that bag i think is actually absolutely beautiful also honestly like in my opinion like and this is one that i really really want one day like one day i will have this bag for sure and it's gonna be the mini lady dior in the patent with the dark sherry color like oh, that one is so beautiful so 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 beautiful i absolutely love that bag so i really want to add that lady dior into my collection in the mini size with the patent with the dark sherry red color another big color for this year it's gonna be the icy blue and the joke is on me right now because i had the most beautiful icy blue color bag from chanel the coco handle and i sold it in december last year so joke is on me that's gonna be a very trendy color this year for sure and it's absolutely beautiful we're gonna see it in a lot of bags we're gonna see it in a lot of people clothing in bags accessories I saw, like Gucci's bringing out a beautiful icy color bags. I believe it's also so from Fendi coming with icy blue bags. Absolutely beautiful. So this one is a very good bag to have, honestly, in your collection right now. So yeah, so joke on me. I sold that bag. Now I'm like, oh, but again, I do not regret selling the bag. That bag was not working for me, but I still want to add the same bag in the mini size. So if you haven't watched the video, I'll insert that video up here so you guys can watch and see why i sold my bag metallics are still here so metallics we have seen metallics coming through for the last few years as a staples in the collections that one i'm actually obsessed with like i love metallics for me metallics are neutral bags 
so i am excited about this one but this year is different like before we were seeing a lot of gold 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 and i love gold like that's my favorite metallic if i had to choose but what we're gonna be seeing more this year is gonna be the silver silver is coming strong silver a uh, chrome is coming gonna come strong we're gonna be seeing a lot of metallics in silver kind of chrome color this year in 2024 another really big trend that we're gonna see this year is gonna be clutches so we're gonna see big clutches like that for the day bags that like actually bags your bags carrying as a clutch and we're gonna see a lot of like envelope kind of style clutch for the night for making it easy more dressed up so we are gonna see those type of clutches huge clutches during the day and we're gonna see that nice night time clutches as well and last but not least my favorite what my my favorite trend is gonna be woven woven the last few years has been super hot and i love it i love woven bags i love texture bags i love raffia bags i love wicker bags i love woven bags and there's this one from bottega veneta that is coming out that is huge where you can fit your life it's so absolutely beautiful that is an amazing mug i love the bag i love the style i'm very excited about this the loewe squeeze bag is going to be coming as well in that raffia bag so that one is going to be amazing so the raffia trend is really not going anywhere and we're going to be seeing a lot of bags coming the way we're having the chanel deville coming as well so big bags in woven we are going to be seeing a lot of these kind of like old trends to get put together and it's going to be absolutely beautiful i'm very excited about this so this is it these are the hottest trends for 2024 i have to say my favorite ones will be patent leather love it especially in that dark sherry red oh, beautiful i love that one but i love the trend the woven bags absolutely love this this trend love 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 that trend the unexpected shapes i really like as well because i love my heart bags and i love having different type of bags especially for the beach like that i absolutely love and i love right now like I'm very excited to see what are the unexpected shapes. I don't think I will be adding any crazy thing in my collection, but I would love to see what's going gonna come out there for sure. And last but not least is the baguette style bags. I'm actually really growing into that style. I really like that the Joy, beautiful. The Louis Vuitton capucines in the East to West, not my favorite, but it's, I can see the popularity. Birkin, the Birkin is also gonna come out that style, like in a, an elongated style and short. We're gonna be seeing a lot of this for sure this year. The slouchy bags, I do like the slouchy bags. To be honest, like, hear me out. I am more of a structured person, more of a structured bag person. But I do appreciate a slouchy, a slouchy bag. Like, I, I see the beauty, beauty in it. The hobo style bags, like, I do see the beauty on this style. So, yeah, so I'm excited to see this one as well. Like, how good it's going to be. And yeah, guys, this is the video for today. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite trend for this year, which trend didn't I not mention that you guys are loving. And yeah, please join this little community if you have not joined yet. And I will see you guys on my next one. Bye.